Welcome back, and today we're going to talk about math reviews for decimals. Um, this is part of a series that is preparing you for dosage calculation, so make sure that you do this series in order, um, and this is the fourth recording, and this is math review for decimals. When you go in order, you'll also see that I have attached the um, packet to the bottom, so you can click on the packet, print it out, do the practice um, problems, all the different things. So make sure that A, you go in order, and then B, that you utilize the math packet that is um, embedded below so that you can click on that and print that out. So today we'll talk about math reviews for decimals as we're getting prepared to get our skills ready for dosage calculation. So the first important thing is there are general rules for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and decimals. When you have a whole number that does not have a decimal, you need to place the decimal after the last number on the right. Added zeros are underlined in these examples so that you know where the decimal is because this is where it can get very dangerous with dosage calculation because the difference of a decimal means a large difference in the calculation for the medication. So we really have to make sure that we understand the decimals, where the decimals are placed, and what that looks like when we get to the dosage calculation because there's also rules for zero when we're talking about dosage calculation. So it gives you an example here. Um, and if you go down, it shows the whole number is 32. So we know that if we're going to convert that um, and we're using decimals to add, subtract, multiply, or divide, we need to know where that decimal is. So in this example here, you can see that that becomes 32.0 or 32 decimal zero. Um, to hold that place there. You may add zeros after the decimal or after the last number that is to the right if you need to use it as a placeholder. So here's another example here. The whole number is 12.6. If we say 12.60, this zero is holding a place. And you are able to do that in order to uh, be able to line things up correctly. So additional rules for addition and subtraction. So this only applies to addition and subtraction, um, but these are rules that you want to memorize. So you always line up the decimal points. When you're talking about addition and subtraction of decimals, you always line up the decimal points for each number. And there's a problem below that shows you how you would want to line that up. So it's written out 8.5 plus 19.06 plus 40 plus 21.13 plus 0 0.89 equals. And so you notice here that the first step that we want to do is we want to rewrite it so that we can line up those decimals. So here's where we just talked about the zeros being the placeholders. You can see it here, 8.5, 0 up here. 8.5, but in order to line this up nice and tidy so that you are absolutely sure that you are adding or subtracting in the right columns, you add that zero there. So you see how all this gets lined up? Again, up here this is 40, but here to make that column nice and tidy, it's 40.00 to hold the places. And once they do the work here, we're adding, so they added the number, so 0 plus 6 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 9 is 18, so 18 goes here, you can see the 1 was carried again, so 5 plus 1 is 6, going down the column, 6 plus 1 is 7, and then I always remember 7 has that 2 left over, so that's 15, right, 8 plus 7 is 15, and here's your 5, you carried the one again, and then you start back over. So you have the eight plus one is nine, nine plus nine is 18, 18 plus one is 19. So you bring the nine. Now 19 also has the one. So again, we have to remember to carry the one. So one plus one is two, two plus four is six, and six plus two is eight, and you get eight. 
Now this decimal again is so important. See how it's lined up straight down. So you did the math and you got 8958 and that decimal is right there lined up. Very important. Now it gives you another example of how you would um, make the subtraction columns and line that up. So the problem that they give here is 1025 minus 248.6. Again, you'll notice very important that this is lined up in a nice column. And we added a zero. There's not a zero here, but we need that placeholder because we have 248.6, so we need that placeholder here to put the zero. So as you line it up again for subtraction, subtract columns starting on the right. Remember, you need to borrow the number to the left if you need to. So here's a perfect example. You cannot take zero, right, zero minus six. So you have to borrow. That would be a four. You'd have the four up here now. You'd borrow here, and now you have 10 minus six is four. Your decimal gets carried straight down. And then now we remembered that this, I'm sorry, I didn't hook my pad up for this one because I was going to do a separate written one, um, but we'll pretend that I have now crossed this out. I've made it a four. I cannot do four minus eight, so I have to do the same thing. I have to cross the two out. Two becomes one over here. The <clears throat> four becomes 14. So 14 take away eight is six. Okay, now remember this was crossed out. This was a one. Again, I can't take that away. Uh-oh, what do I do? I can't borrow from a zero, so we need to go back here. This becomes a zero. We cross that out. This is a zero. This becomes a 10. Cross that out to borrow here. Okay, so then you have, this is a nine. And right here you have 11 minus four. So then you get seven. And then you have nine minus two, which is seven. So that's how that works. So I'll actually hook my pad back up and then um, I'll do this one again um, just in a short separate video for you. And we're going to call this the adding and subtracting decimals so that we can really focus on those rules for this portion. And then we'll go over the rules for um, dividing and multiplication. So I'll go ahead and in this video, after this video, you can look for um, part two of adding and subtracting decimals where we'll go over that problem, but I'll have my pad hooked up so you can see the numbers because I know uh, looking at it, it can be very confusing. So I'll see you online again. Thank you and have a beautiful day. And remember, like and subscribe and utilize all of the resources in the channel. Have a great day. Thank you, Allied Health Rockstars. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.